Hey guys, Annie Quinch here, and we're back with The Glorious How I Met Your Mother. The episode's called Glitter. My prediction is it's going to be a Robin episode. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the description just come up. The gang inc- encounter Robin to reunite with Jesse Glitter, her former best friend and co-stars for her day performing on Canadian's Kids Show. Why does like why does Robin have like the craziest backstory out of everyone? <laughs> <laughs> but the one what you'd say is most serious and most down to earth. She's got the weirdest backstory. I look forward to it. So, guys, enjoy the reaction. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's jump to this. Three, two, one, play. Why are you wearing that? Why does Barney do anything? Yet? <laughs> exactly. Science. Science. <laughs> 3% correlation between the times men wear boutonnieres and the times they get laid. Oh, fuck off of your stats. Weddings, <laughs> grandma's funerals, thanks to the redhead Nana. Fucking <laughs> hell. By Stinson. And nope. I'm Excellent sorry, Barney, but no girl is going home with a guy with a flower on his chest. That Unless was he's a genius. Crown and she's in the trunk of his an insult that cannot be borne. I demand satisfaction. What are we gonna duel? No, I'm gonna show everyone this embarrassing. <laughs> oh thing it's Robin. Why does he just have that? Why do he have that? Why did he just have that? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> the moment that Robin pissed him off. <laughs> I don't know, everyone's like, oh! <laughs> Is that meme? I wanted my first time to be with someone I cared about. <laughs> I get that a lot. Well, once. <laughs> Do you want to go get a cream massage on? Is this a porno? No, dude! This is a kid's show. Kid's show. Huh. I don't know, the slapping bet's over. <laughs> I don't know, that's still there. Two average Canadian teenagers who solve crimes in space using math. That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> so sue me, mm. like the producers of Milky Way Mathletes tried to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do that on television. <laughs> the the producers knew what they was doing. I don't know whether to hug you. The guy, he wasn't that great. I don't know. I think he did a pretty good job <laughs> considering he was probably only using one hand. The best cameraman. <laughs> Basically, the cameraman in the US horror movie. where they just did foot shots every two seconds. Space, was it Texas Chainsaw when he did it? Like the cameraman on that show, Jesus Christ. Okay, space teens, let's multiply. Five times six. Thirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-eight. Good. Eight times nine. This. It's like we're on a is a really hot naked no, on paper he sounds great but you guys aren't really friends Look, I, mean, I would find it a little weird when you hang out with people back from matter. school and um, your personality could not change but sort of like you, you, the way you talk and everything reverts back Mosby. quite amusing hey good talking to you Ted yeah you too you ever in New York definitely <laughs> we are just two peas that is what it's like. That is generally. <laughs> That's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> okay, and I haven't talked to her in like five years. I love it. Ooh. You gotta go. Pregnant to Robin dumped her. Oh, wow. Nah, there's gotta be more. Oh no. Rob is gonna dump me. When a second uterus plumped becomes. Ah, but. Feel the room. Ted really wants to get that out. That's kind of weird. Okay, it's not porn. It's a kid's show. Two dudes watching a kid's show might be worse. <laughs> if I don't watch it anymore. <laughs> but if either of you make ever. <laughs> Our characters had pet beavers. Mm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the beaver is the official animal in Canada. <laughs> it's your national mascot. <laughs> it's a noble creature. Okay, girls. Knows oh, this is amazing. Is this is all I wanted in my life. I just hope we brought along enough of it. If Robin's beaver devours six inches of wood every half hour, and Jessica's beaver devours eight inches. Oh, Robin's actor's doing bits here. What will I need to keep both of these beavers well fed all weekend long? Why you figure it out at home? So childish, so good. <laughs> Song. It is a sweet song uh, about friendship, and you guys are being discussed. I hate and this. Beavers are adorable. 
Well, Why would this? I, can, I don't know if I had the same reaction as those two. I'm like, I'm ready. I don't want to keep watching it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Maybe glitter no, dumped hello, the Robin. Maybe it's just that. Lily, maybe she had it. Yeah. Could be one way, like, she's so busy with a child, not like, just sort of drove the apart, maybe? Could be anything. No, she seemed a bit angry about it, so it's obviously something more. If Robin so dumped her as a best mate, Robin would be so angry about it. So there's something more going on. It means that a fertilized egg has not yet attached itself to the <laughs> your uterine wall. You see, I read your Facebook updates. It's like you know, all you ever talk about. You don't have to see me. This whole friendship thing, done. Great, Ooh. great. Oh, no. They're actually good friends. They're like they've got friendships in Gossip Girl. And fix this. I can't. The damage is done. <laughs> Can you just pull me? <laughs> no, I don't agree with what you did, and so I refuse to comfort you, despite how you're going to comfort you when you cry. You're going to give in. You're going to give in. Yeah, okay, you give in. Time <laughs> squares the bomb. Bye. <laughs> Punchy, the tribe has spoken. Please pack up your knives and go. Your work of art didn't work for us. <laughs> Your time's up. Wait, he's going in. To leave the this bench. bit. You must leave the chateau. Your tour ends here. <laughs> You've been shot. Okay. Yeah, I know. You've been Do one more. from the Big Brother house. <laughs> Your dessert just didn't measure up. Sashay away. Give me a jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. I'm sorry. You did not get a room. <laughs> I'd rather let him keep going. You are no longer in the running to be America's next top model. You're fired. I'll be the same. <laughs> that was so worth it. That was amazing. <laughs> Whoa, that was really good. That's your scrub. Why did I fall for that? Yeah, he's gotta go. <laughs> Why did I fall for that? What is this episode? <laughs> I know she stopped being friends with you. Why didn't you ask Robin about this instead oh, of Glitter? Robin stopped being friends with me. I stopped being friends with her. Yeah, I thought what? so. Why? Because I had a baby. Honey, when you have a baby, all that best friend stuff, hockey, bow hunting for Yeah, care, I thought it was going to be the case. That all yeah. goes out the window. I mean, I tried to stay friends with her, but it just didn't happen. She took a and pretty hard. I even thought she might try to kill herself. Charge! Oh, that's really sad. Oh, you dumped her. Old. Didn't you do the same thing? Minus the baby? Oh, God. I gotta go. I gotta go apologize to Robin. I, I need to tell her I love And it makes her. sense why she she's a bit more triggered about the baby stuff be being all the only conversation book. She lost the best friend because of the baby before. And now I haven't even. Hmm. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay, I've got a little depth to it. Big Chuck and Little John out here. Punchy, it's time to go back. Back to Times Square? Uh, no. Back, back to Cleveland. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. So. <laughs> Fucking yeah, Punchy. Yeah, I mean, for a piece of Cleveland-style pizza, but... Who was that? It's my friend Ted. Sounded kind of depressed. Is this the Ted who got left at the altar? Yeah. <laughs> He's not doing so good. <laughs> Poor guy lives in a tiny apartment. <laughs> Nowhere near Tangle. Doesn't have a backyard. Just a bummer. Maybe you should go visit him. Cheer him up a little. <laughs> I'm about to be forced in between each other. It's like I say, you don't see each other, you, your, your old friends every day. You just, you just have your image of them and all your reality. That's the other reason why I came out here. I wanted to see if you'd be my best man. Of course I will. <laughs> 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 Punchy! <laughs> uh, I like Punchy. <laughs> that night, Lily Aww, went to the one that was place sweet. <laughs> New York's Canadian I think it's always good to update, always update with your friends, because like, they, like I said, they change, and you sometimes just keep the same image of them that you had when you were younger. Whoa, like I hate most babies. Your baby, I'm gonna love that kid so much. 
Connecting, always cute. Side by side. Wow, this is so dirty. Come on, Arnie, it's a sweet song about friendship. Yeah, dude, come on. <laughs> 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 oh, they're the Canadian bar, that's why it came on. <laughs> Really good episode. I really enjoyed this episode. <laughs> Why does he look like the Wish version of Simon Cow? <laughs> Probably one of my favorite episodes of the season. You know what? It's like top 15 episodes easily. I'm enjoying I love that episode. That was great. <laughs> no, comedy was great. I really, really love the moment between that. Like everyone can relate to that that school friend storyline. I think that was a fantastic idea for a storyline. I think like it's quite a realistic one. Um, and like I say, you sort of revert back and then you just like the whole like the preception you have of people and that kind of update. Like he, he was worried about him and then he, vice versa. Even though they were both doing well in their life, so just both had hiccups like everyone does. Uh, Robin storyline was really fun with a really, really good, really, really good, genuine fun storyline with Lily and Robin. I really enjoyed that one. Like they made an assumption, and yeah, and then it made it made sense why Robin didn't want to talk about all the baby stuff, but then she like say she lost her former best friend to it. But then again, this sort of like I, mean, I also liked from the best friend's point of view as well. We got to. So you can get to that point after you, know, you don't talk for months or years or so much time goes past and it's just have to pick up that courage to be able to text them or message them or, or call them again. I could see that being quite difficult. That's people in my life where it's like, yeah, you think back to school and stuff and like you just really get along with and it's like, would sending a text them just be weird? Would you be odd for doing that? Would you do so-and-so? Whereas if you'd probably just do it, they probably, probably wouldn't care either way. They'd probably just be like, nice to hear from you again, but you never know. It's just the, who will get the courage first to do it. I thought that was quite interesting and quite... Quite a really, really good storyline for I Met Your Mother. That's one of my favourite episodes. I really enjoyed that one. But yeah, we're going to jump straight to the next one, guys.